Hi, good morning all. Today we are going to see demo for uh, the Speedy Saver Ambulance Booking app. So it's an Android app. Let's so let's see the delivery files first. So you'll be getting the delivery files of Android SRC is the complete Android source code, and the SQL part uh, is MySQL and the local APK which is running in the Android emulator. You'll be getting the mobile APK also. You can able to deploy in your mobile device. Okay. So first we will see how to start the project. To start to <coughs> to start the project, you have to open XAMPP control panel and open it. Once you open XAMPP control panel, here you have to open Apache and MySQL. So you have to click on Start Apache and Start MySQL. <coughs> Once it is started, click on the Admin button of MySQL. It will promote you to the web browser. In the left hand side you can see your project database that is ambulance so this is your project database so you can click the database and you can able to view all the tables over here so if you want to see the user login details so just select the user login table you can able to view the registered users over here okay so if you want to see the ambulance details you can select the ambulance table and you can see the ambulance details over here so this is the backend database. We, uh, we have developed the backend DB with MySQL. Next, you have to open Android Studio. Okay, open Android Studio. So if you open Android Studio, by default, your Android project will be uh, imported in the left hand side, Android SRC, and your source code will be in, available in the WW file. So front end, we are using HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. So if you double click it, and you can able to view the uh, source code for the index files. Okay and we are using the for the backend we are using angular javascript so if you expand the js folder you can able to view uh, view the an angular underscore files that is angular javascript file you can double click it and you can see the core android coding of the project so here we have written the <coughs> control module like uh, user login user registration and all okay so and we have used PHP has the backend part. You can view the PHP module from the web folder. So here you can able to view the user login, user registration, uh, PHP files over here. So these are all the PHP files. Okay. So next you have to start the emulator. So you have to click this device manager. You can see the small mobile logo. You have to open the device manager. So you'll be getting this window. So here you have to select the Nixis one device. So we are using 33 API level for this project. So there will be a play button will be there. So currently it is already uh, my emulator is running. So you have to click this run button. So once it is started, you will be promoted with the emulator part. Okay. So it will take some time. So this is the latest API 33. So it will take some 30 seconds to one minute. You have to wait for it. So in the home page itself, you can see your ambulance booking app. So just click and open it. <coughs> so here we have three modules like user, admin and uh, driver. So the credential for the project is available in the readme folder. So open the readme folder. So we have given you the creden demo credential for user and the driver. You can register whatever you want for admin. Also, you can register it for admin. It is admin at gmail.com. So let's start with the admin module first. So I will start with the admin module. So the admin is nothing but the hospital here. So login successful. So once you login as a admin, you can able to manage the uh, vehicles of ambulance and you can able to create new drivers and assign the drivers to the ambulance and you can able to view the booking details okay whatever the booking you are getting you can view it and you can able to view the work report of the each drivers okay. so first you have to create a new ambulance to create a ambulance go to the first option create ambulance so here you have to mention your name hospital name driver name uh, contact number and uh, address and how, uh, what kind of uh, ambulance type it is whether it is a basic normal ambulance or advanced support uh, life support ambulance like that and in the driver email you have to select the 
uh, provide your uh, driver email id so previously i have created this uh, driver this email id have already created <coughs> and you can put the whether the currently the uh, uh, ambulance is available or not so this is first you have to add the ambulance so previously i have added the ambulance so that will be available in the update ambulance so i have uh, created only one ambulance as of now so for the name of uh, this company and <coughs> the status is available if you want to make the ambulance uh, if it is booked means you can make change the status to unavailable and if you want to update the phone number you can still update or delete the details over here and if you want to create a, a new driver so you can go to the driver accounts so this email id and password will be the login id for the driver so whatever the email id and the password you are providing so they will be uh, able to log in with the credential now so you can view the driver details here so i have previously created this email id driver.gmail.com like that and if you getting any bookings so if i make a new booking from the user so that will be coming over here so here you can able to view the view booking module so the status is pending so the driver will be accept the status uh, okay so whether it is booked or completed like that so you'll be getting the status what kind of type what is the pickup area address pickup address and the external details so you'll be getting the user address and user details and the main module is the work log <coughs> in the work log you can able to once the driver complete your work so you can able to view what for the particular booking id so what time he has accepted the order and what time he has accepted completed the order so for the same date i have completed the same status over here so so a driver can't able to uh, make a fake statement like if you get the if you accepted your order by 9 o'clock and the, it is completed by 10 o'clock so the time stamp will be automatically updated from the driver side so let's move for the uh, user module and uh, so i'm just logging with the demo login user at gmail.com password is test <coughs> <coughs> So if you want to make a new booking, go to the booking and you can see the status in your my booking and you can view the nearby hospitals also. You can manage your my profile. So in the my profile, you can able to change your username, password like that. So I'm going to book a ambulance now. So go to the booking. So I can see one ambulance is available over here. So you can search by your uh, city name wise. You can search by your pin code wise. You can search by any field over here so you can search by hospital wise you can search by area wise or city wise like that so if it is a, a <coughs> emergency so if you want the ambulance in immediate means you can make it as a book emergency if it is a, a non-emergency like if you want the ambulance by tomorrow means you can go for non-emergency you can also call the driver and you can check the availability if you click the call now button automatically it will promote you to the driller option over here so i am going to book for emergency book emergency You can choose your type and you can type your uh, customer mobile number and pick up area so which address you have to pick up the ambulance and submit it <laughs> so it is submitted successfully so you can see your my booking status so it is bending as of now so the driver will be getting the status now and he will be <coughs> able to accept your request so if you want to once you get the uh, ambulance if you want to see the nearby hospitals you can click on this button so it will automatically promote you to the google map you should have a internet connection to this 
you can able to view the nearby google map hospitals over here <coughs> yeah so it is loaded now so you can view the nearby hospital and you can reach it so next we are moving for the driver module for the driver whatever the admin assigned the ambulance that will be av available over here you can see the uh, ambulance status and booking status so first you have to see the booking status so just now i have booked a uh, appointment over here you can update uh, the status so whether it is accepted or completed like that so it is accepted now <coughs> and also one more module is there so from the user side you can able to update the google map and uh, whatever the google map you can able to view in the show map option so in the ambulance status once it is accepted you have to change the status to unavailable okay so i am just changing the status of my uh, ambulance to available to unavailable since we have accepted a booking now okay so no more uh, bookings will be made from our side okay so this is what the complete uh, modules explanation for the project so we will i just show you the google map option <coughs> so in your my booking so the status is updated you can see the call driver you can click on call the driver you can update the map where is your location so here we are not making a gps location we are uh, just using the google coordinates here by default uh, it will be in any india location or bangalore or chennai so you have to drag and drop the red bubble where wherever you are standing so you have to drag and drop over here so so i'm just dragging and drop over the nearby road and updating the geo map so once you update the google map so it will be visible with a latitude and longitude so the driver can able to view view the google map go to the booking status so now you can click on the show map so it will automatically promote you to the google map application so you will be see he, they can able to view the exact latitude and the longitude location of the user and from here you can put the direction button and put and reach the user so you can able to view the map it is loading now so this is where we have i have updated the, the location the same location is you can view it and from here i can put the direction and reach the user so this is what the demo so thank you